welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're joining me for the first time, I hope that this video is helpful to you. Uh, thank you for all the likes and subscribes from anybody who is liking and subscribing. It's encouragement to help keep me going on this. Um, so today we are going to be talking about the better press system uh, and what you should absolutely not do with the better press system. Um, and I hope this is helpful to you guys because I was having such a difficult time and feeling so frustrated with the better press system, especially because all other YouTubers are talking about how this system is so easy, like anybody can do it straight out of the box. There's no problems, there's no errors. And I just kept getting results that were like, you know, the ink would overflow, it was a bit muddy, like it just was not looking good. And it just kept being result after result after result. I was like, what is going on here? Everybody else seems to be doing an absolute fantastic job at this. Like, why am I the only one that this is not working for? Well, it turns out that this thing is not idiot proof because here's the idiot right here who made a super simple error, absolutely completely obvious. Um, and so I debated about showing you guys this entire video and um, or just cutting straight to the end and being like, don't do this. But I thought I'd take you along on the process of discovery with me where I'm like, oh, yeah, this is this is what I'm doing wrong. And maybe some of you will be watching and following along and be like, don't do this. Like the same way that you do when you like watch a horror movie and you're like, don't go into the basement. Yeah, some of you will probably be like, Stephanie, what are you doing? Of course, this is why it's not working. Why This is so clearly obvious. But it wasn't obvious to me. It might not be obvious to other people. So hopefully this will be helpful to you and you guys can laugh at my mistakes and um, maybe not make the same mistake yourselves. So if you are having trouble, this might be the reason. And or I, I just might be the only idiot in the world who is doing this um, and thus having issues. But anyway, enjoy. Today's video was originally going to be about um, this uh, Scrapbooking Made Simple exclusive bundle set that they had for the Spellbinders Better Press release. Um, and they work with Spellbinders to create this. You can see it has the Spellbinders branding. Um, and so there's a frame there with a sentiment. Uh, and you can die cut the sentiment separately. Um, there was this lovely flower. I think this is a dahlia. It says, um, you brighten my day or my everyday. Um, and I thought those were really nice. And then they also came with the nesting um, die cuts and those are great for sentiments and everything like that. So I thought, you know what, as a bundle, this is a great deal. So I went ahead and got that. So I knew that I wanted to make a sympathy card for somebody in my life who's lost their father. Um, and I decided to use the Spellbinders Better Press Sentiment uh, plate and die set. Um, and I love these types of um, bundles because you can die cut so many different sentiments all at the same time. Um, and you can see here, I'm going to try to see if I can save up on some of that paper by doing two impressions um, on the same page. Uh, so you'll see me try this out here. Um, and it doesn't work out quite so well because um, what I discovered is that uh, even if the sentiments might fit, um, although there was a little overhang, one of the sentiments probably wouldn't have um, printed correctly. Um, when you die cut them, uh, the die kind of banners would uh, encroach onto the other side. So you really can't do it um, two on one piece of paper, which is too bad because the paper is expensive. Um, and so there is a lot of kind of waste in um, doing just the one impression. Um, but I keep those scraps and use them to um, like test out different markers or watercolors or something like that to see how it fits. So you can see here, I am going ahead and um, seeing how that paper is going to fit and deciding, no, this actually doesn't fit at all. Now, as I go through this, I'm not going to tell you what I figured out in hindsight. I'm going to see if you guys can figure it out as I'm going along and doing it and making these mistakes. Um, and so here I am, I'm just going to use the better press ink, um, just the plain black ink that comes with the system. So here I, I am doing everything I thought that I was supposed to be doing with the system. Um, and I'm putting the tape on the back here because um, I didn't want anything um, taped on the sides to potentially get in the way of um, any impressions that I'd be making. So go ahead and tape that up and um, now I'm going to do the impression. And I go ahead and do this impression off screen on my Platinum Spellbinder 6. Now for the reveal. Uh, and I expected this to come out great. Uh, I'd seen other people use this one and I had no reason to believe why it wouldn't come out great. And here I am really disappointed to see, um, you can see one of the sentiments, you brighten my day, um, is completely 
ruined. Um, it, the ink spills over, the impression's too deep, it's too dark in some areas, um, and I'm just like, what is going on here? Like, I don't know what the problem is. Um, maybe I inked this up wrong. Maybe, you know, I'm noticing that there's like little um, bits of fuzz there, and so I'm thinking maybe it's the, um, the ink pad. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and try that again. Let me see what I can go ahead and do differently. Now the yellow tape that came in um, the Better Press kit is also something I've been having an issue with that I haven't seen other people having an issue with, um, and that's that it constantly tears my paper. Um, and literally every single piece of paper that I have tried this yellow uh, tape on that is supposed to be non, uh, not very sticky um, has torn the paper. So I found that frustrating as well. I decided to go ahead and try just doing another impression, just thinking, you know what, this might be kind of like a pancake. You know how your first pancake never comes out right? So I'm thinking, well, maybe this is just kind of like a pancake. This just, you know, the first one is just going to be messed up, even though everybody else seems to be doing fine with it. Nobody else seems to be having any problems. And here I am thinking, maybe I put too much ink on my plate the last time. Maybe it's too smudged. Maybe that's what made the smudging on the impression come out. So I'm just wiping it down. Um, I don't have any stamp cleaner, so just wiping it down, seeing if that makes any difference. And I'm doing my best to get, you know, an even layer of ink on this. I'm thinking maybe that was what was wrong last time. Maybe I put too much ink in the center. I need to make sure to put more on the edges so that um, it comes out a little bit more even. So I go off screen, um, do another impression, and then this is what I get. And for the reveal, and wouldn't you know, somehow it's even worse than the first one. This is absolutely awful. You can see just how messed up all of the sentiments are. Um, now it's not just one. Like it, It's driving me crazy because the mistakes aren't just in one spot. They just keep happening all over the place. But then I notice these little fibers that are on um, the, the paper. And I'm thinking, well, maybe these little fibers from the paper or something like messed it up. Okay. That's got to be what it is. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try this again. Let's see how this comes out. Um, I'm going to try with a different stamp pad and see maybe that makes the difference. So I took, um, I think this is a Hero Arts uh, die stamp. Um, it might not be right. This might be a Simon Says stamp. I can't remember if this is Hero Arts or Simon Says stamp. But in any case, it's a dye ink. Um, I'm trying this out. I've seen other people on YouTube use dye inks with great success. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to, you know, throw anything at the wall, see what sticks, see what might make this actually work. Now the reveal with the dye ink experiment. Let's see how this goes. No, it is just as terrible as the other ones. Maybe a little bit worse because I didn't do a good job cleaning off um, the plate to begin with. So there's a little bit of different colors, but ignoring that piece, the impression is still terrible like, and terrible in many different spots. And I am just like, what is going on? I don't understand why this is so difficult. I don't understand why I have not been able to get a single good impression from this plate. Here I'm again showing how um, that yellow tape has ripped up the back of my paper. Um, again, that yellow tape that's not supposed to be too sticky is very, very sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this another try. And let's see how this goes. I'm not going to use the dye ink this time. Um, and I'm examining the plate to see like, is there a defect with my plate? Is that could be what's going on? Because it's just ridiculous that I've had so many mistakes all in one. So I go ahead and give it another try. I'm going to see how this one works. And this one is slightly better. I'm going back to the beginning basically with just using the black from the uh, Better Press inks. But you can see it's still messed up. It's better, but it's still messed up and I'm still like I don't understand what's going on and then I think oh maybe maybe I need to remove a shim or two because my platinum six is very new and so maybe it's too tight maybe that's what's happening maybe it's squeezing too much so if I remove a shim or two then maybe it might be better so let's give that a try no somehow it's even worse oh my goodness do you see how bad that looks I mean you can't miss it it's absolutely terrible I'm just like at a loss, guys. I am just like driving myself crazy. I don't even know what to do. I just, it's beyond. I'm looking at all these impressions I made and every single one is terrible. 
And I'm just thinking to myself, like, everybody says this is so easy. Everybody's getting great results. I must be doing something wrong, but I cannot figure out what it is. You guys are all probably laughing at me because you guys have probably figured out what it is at this point. But I am still truly just at a loss. And I'm just looking at all these and I'm thinking, well, I can maybe salvage them, but this isn't right. This isn't the way that it should be going. Like, this is supposed to be super simple. This is supposed to be the best thing ever. Everybody else can do this. What is going on that I can't do this? And, you know, you guys, I have three master's degrees and I'm still stupidly trying to figure out, like, what is going on here? So now I'm thinking, okay, I can't be doing the same thing that I kept doing. Let me try something different. I'm going to try with a different plate. I'm going to try with a different background that I made. Um, and this background is one that I'll show in a different video that I made, but I wanted to keep this short and simple. Um, and it's here again that I discovered like, okay, there's some fuzziness on the um, ink pad. So I'm thinking, okay, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. I finally figured it out, guys. This is, there's just all this fuzziness that's coming off. So that must be getting caught on the plate and that must be what's causing the bad impressions, right? Okay. So I pull this off and I say, okay, this looks okay-ish. This doesn't look terrible. Like it's not as crisp and clear as I would have maybe wanted it to be, but it's not a bad impression. So, okay, I think I've figured it out. It's got to be that the ink pad was shedding those little fibers on there, but it's still not the best. So I'm like, okay, let me try this plate that came with the better press system because I know this plate works because I used it on another card and it turned out perfectly. So I'm thinking, okay, I know this has to work. This plate turned out great before. I'm going to go ahead and use the better press paper and this should turn out fantastic, right? Well, no, unfortunately, it looks like garbage. You can see that spot at the top where the ink is missing, and I'm just like, what is going on? I know this plate is a good plate. I've had a good impression from it. What on earth is causing all of my plates to mess up? Now I'm thinking maybe it's the ink again. The previous impression, I used a Distress um, ink, and maybe that's why. So I'm back to using the Better Press ink, seeing if that works. I decide to use the slightly thinner cardstock to see maybe this will work because the impression wasn't strong enough on the other one. So maybe that's why. Maybe I just needed to use some thinner cardstock. I don't know. I'm throwing anything at the wall to see what sticks here, guys. I'm at this point still completely clueless. You guys, I'm sure, have figured it out but I am completely clueless and I'm just like, what on earth is happening? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this again, seeing if this will work um, and you know, taping this onto the plate and running it through and we're gonna see if I get a good impression. And I don't, I mean, it's not a terrible impression but you can kind of see it's kind of muddy there in the middle of that flower. And again, I'm just like, what is causing this? And I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I can just put a sentiment strip over that. It won't be noticeable. But still, like, why is this going so badly? Why do these all look terrible? And there you go. The light bulb finally goes off as I'm noticing, oh, the area where the uh, impression did not look good is exactly where the rolled up tape was. Now, I had seen other YouTubers use the rolled up tape on the back of papers um, instead of doing the corners as a way to avoid um, the plate on the corners um, getting um, not a full impression on it. But obviously, I'm thinking, okay, now I have seen the light. This is the reason. I'm going to try this and see how it goes with the tape on the corners. And wouldn't you look, a perfect impression. And I feel just so silly because this was such an obvious thing. Again, you guys all probably knew this. I think I got a comment on one of my previous videos that like, hey, have you tried, you know, not putting the tape on the back of the paper? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So that is the thing to never do with the better press, as I have learned. Um, and I should have figured this out also because um, the shims, just removing the, those tiny, tiny shims makes a difference. This thing is kind of like the princess and the pea. You remember that old uh, fairy tale where the princess uh, sleeps on a pea on a pile of mattresses, but she's so sensitive that like she can feel the pea. Well, the better press is kind of like the princess and the pea where like the slightest little change, it seems like, um, makes a big difference in the impression. Just removing one small shimmer or two makes an impression um, and the tape on the back made a big difference. So now, of course, I have to try it on the original plate that I was using in this session that was giving me so much trouble, 
If you'll recall, I had five impressions that just didn't work. So now I'm testing it again, this time with the tape on the corners and let's see how it goes. And wouldn't you look at that, an absolutely perfect impression. Ah, I'm so mad at myself for not getting this sooner. Like this is so obvious, but look at how good that looks. That looks fantastic. Everything is exactly the way that it should be. And it was that easy. It was that easy. And you can definitely see the difference when you put the two next to each other. Um, the first one looks terrible. The other one, absolutely perfect. So I hope this experiment um, helped you guys out. I hope that nobody makes the same mistake I did, that other people don't have the same frustration. But look at how beautiful that plate came out. Look at the detail that you get on that that you just can't get with a stamped image. Um, just the really fine, fine details. Um, and the embossing isn't as thick on like the colored cardstock that's just plain regular cardstock as it is on the better pressed paper, but that's to be expected. But the impression um, and the image still looks great. So. There you have it. That is the answer. Never do that with the better press. If you'll recall in my previous video, uh, I had a lot of trouble with this bird plate. And at that point I had chalked it up to being an issue with the plate because no matter how many times I did that impression, um, that was just not working. Whereas the two other plates I used, one which was um, a frame with a border in it um, and it said thank you in the center that was a removable piece. Um, and then the other I did um, two flowers on like either corner of the, of the page. Um, and the bird one was the only one that gave me an issue. So I had chalked it up to the bird plate being the problem. Well, of course, now in hindsight, I can see it's because the bird plate with the image in the center had the tape right behind it. So that bird kept getting messed up. Whereas the other two cards I was making, the tape was in the center, but there was no image in the center. It was a border frame or it was the flowers in the corner. And that's why those turned out great and the bird one didn't. So I will have to go back and try that bird one again. Um, in another video, I will make some cards. I'll make some cards with the impressions that I made today. I'll try the bird one again um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. It's helpful. It's encouraging to keep making these types of videos. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next time for our next crafty adventures.